thinking about intelligent dinosaurs, one can't help but think of that incredible kitchen scene in Jurassic Park where velociraptors learn how to open doors. And though this can't quite be proven, dromaeosaurs did have, proportionally, the largest brains relative to their body size of any of the dinosaurs. They had enlarged cerebrums and were one of the smartest dinosaur groups of their time. However, in recent years, thanks to ever-changing technology, paleontologists can now determine just how intelligent many dinosaurs were, which gives us the ability to take a dive into finding out just how smart Tyrannosaurus rex was. The following video takes an in-depth look into the anatomy and morphology of Tyrannosaurus rex based on the currently available literature such as scientific articles, experiments, and paleontology books in order to portray an informative picture to one of the most studied prehistoric creatures of all time. Tyrannosaurus Rex. David Hone, author of the Tyrannosaur Chronicles, outlines a pretty basic principle in determining intelligence. A common and simplified measure of intelligence compares brain size to body size. Bigger brains run bigger bodies, but if a brain is larger than expected for an animal of a given size, this usually indicates a smarter animal. Steve Brusotti, author of The Rise and Fall of the Dinosaurs, was part of an extensive fossil scanning study involving CAT scans. He notes in his studies that the rex had a distinctive brain. It looked like a long tube as opposed to the more spherical brains that we have. He says, just like Home, that T. rex's brain, for a dinosaur, is relatively large and names the concept which Home touched on. It's called an encephalization quotient, or EQ. Similar to how humans use IQ to measure intelligence, EQ is a measure of the relative size of the brain compared to the size of the body. T. rex had an EQ in the range of 2 to 2.4, for comparison, human EQ is around 7.5, while chimps are around 2.2 to 2.5. So basically, T. rex's EQ was roughly the same as a chimp's. What the CAT scans also revealed is that T. rex had an extremely keen sense of smell due to very enlarged olfactory bulbs. Not only that, other senses were heightened as well. The inner ear was long and loopy. Comparisons to modern day animals indicate this made T. rex agile and capable of highly coordinated head and eye movements. Not only that, T. rex had a better sensitivity to low frequency sounds, or in other words, a keen sense of hearing. The eyes are also very large and placed partially to the front, indicating that T. rex had great depth perception or binocular vision. In 2018, Dr. Amy Balanoff of John Hopkins University conducted various CT fossil scans to study the brains of dinosaurs. Confirming what Michael Crichton postulated all those years ago, velociraptors were, indeed, highly intelligent. They also had large olfactory bulbs, indicating that same sharp sense of smell. However, as the author of Inside the Mind of a Dinosaur indicates, as fearsome as a pack of velociraptors would have been, no theropod eclipses the king of the dinosaurs, T. rex. In other words, they still weren't as intelligent as T-Rex. CT scans by Larry Whitmer also corroborate that T-Rex was roughly about as intelligent as a chimp with large olfactory bulbs, and his inner ear was best suited for low frequency sounds. Probably the most exciting recent development regarding T-Rex intelligence and their modern equivalent happened in 2023. Neuroscientist Susanna Herculano Huzel conducted a study that resulted in evidence of certain dinosaurs having neuron density in their brains equal to that of modern primates. What inspired her to conduct such such experiments was how in recent years biologists have discovered that birds are much smarter than what has previously been thought. Despite having a small brain, they make up for it by having densely packed neuron clusters. So she therefore wanted to estimate dinosaur intelligence by trying to estimate how many neurons were likely in the brains of different dinosaurs. In order to go about doing her experiment, she used a modern analog. Just like how a crocodile's jaw is used to estimate T-Rex's jaw strength because of their similar build, she went with using emus and ostriches to estimate T-Rex's neurons. She therefore scaled up the braid of an emu and ostrich in proportion to T-Rex. In her study, she found that T-Rex's brain would have had a brain mass of 343 grams and 3.289 million telencephalic neurons. In other words, T-Rex approximated the numbers that are seen in modern primates. Her most groundbreaking suggestion, given this level of intelligence, is that she noted that T-Rex might have had the brain power to develop problem-solving skills, use tools, or even live up to 42 or 49 years, enough to build a culture. However, even though this would be theoretically possible, as noted by Gregory S. Paul and other paleontologists, not a single Tyrannosaur specimen has been found to have lived past 30 years old. So perhaps this may have meant that even if they had the potential to live that long, their dangerous and aggressive lifestyle didn't permit them to do so. Or they may have just not found those specimens yet. At a T-Rex's intelligence in terms of EQ or in terms of neuron density, he was an extremely smart dinosaur that was as smart as modern primates that had a keen sense of smell, vision, and hearing who had the potential to problem solve, build something approximating a prehistoric culture, and might have even used primitive tools. 
I'd like to thank each one of my Patreon members as their contribution helped in the making of this video. If you'd like to contribute and appear in the credits in the future, my Patreon page is Godzilla Rex and it's in the description below. Thanks for watching and see you next time.